Last but not least within our stage experiments is our mark and find stage experiment modality. This allows us to select various fields of view that will be combined with either Z or time lapse series, or equally you could just define different places you'd like to image within a session. So to start off, I'll hit live, get a live feed on my camera. As I move around, I'm going to look for places of interest. This is interesting. I'm going to do a mark position here with our square within a square button to be able to capture that. And as I start to move, if I notice, well, you know what, actually this is a little better position. You can redefine position one with this redefine position button, the square with an arrow up to another square. So by redefining position one now, it will have deleted and recreated a new position all with one click instead of us having to click several times. Now we can move to additional areas that we'd like to capture. Now this won't stitch it all together. These will exist as individual images that can be quite separated in space. Excellent. And I'm going to mark this position. So now we've got a list of three positions here in our drop-down drop menu. If you wanted to go back and look at any of them to review just to make sure they were right, I just went to position two. Yep, still looks great. All set up. We can go ahead and hit start. After the experiment's prepared, the system will automatically move from spot to spot. And in the end, it'll show our final image from the last stage position in our preview window. But if we go back to our projects tab, we can find positions one, two, and three separated here, all prepared for downstream analysis or presentation.